as they head into turn number one. incident. Now here they are moving into turn number four. Ari Leyendijk showing the way at the moment, but here comes Greg Ray charging after him as they open up down the front straightaway. But Ari Leyendijk is going to lead the first lap, the first time he has ever led the opening lap at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But look at the challenge that Greg Ray is presenting already. Well, no question there. It's really hard to start on that inside row. So Ari did a great job. He's ready to go racing. Leyendijk right back into the picture as he moves back into second position passing Ray and then some great racing taking place 18 19 laps ago on lap 82 a great three-way battle with Leyendijk in his last race ever Greg Ray who was clearly the fastest during practice during the month of May apart from the day of qualifying and Ari Leyendijk got a tremendous jump and went by Kenny Bracken, everybody, and has gone into the lead again. What a good move on the restart. Well, I did show you the speeds, and again, more than three miles an hour faster, Ari Leyendijk, than anybody else. Well, we talked to Goodyear. He indicated the engine problem. A lot of the teams have been having connecting rod problems. Rods have been breaking, and it's really got some of these engine builders. Uh, the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500. Ari Leyendijk has crashed and is out of the 500. He is okay. He walked out from the car, but here's what happened to the leader of the race. Well, again, heavy traffic, Bob. Heavy traffic. And the guy just sort of pinched him off a little bit. Ar 